Okay, I didn't have the bloody mic on, but that was my first experience of VR in PSVR 2. Not VR in general, I've had loads of VR headsets since the DK, Oculus DK1. <clears throat> but this is by far the best VR experience I've ever had. I don't have like a powerful PC to see what the new Oculus type things are like. But I've got a Quest 2 and a PSVR 1. So this is the best VR experience I've felt. And I like the fact that it's seamless in this game, that you can j jump between it. I can take the headset off and it instantly goes back to two-dimensional mode, so that makes it very cool. I asked GBT, ChatGBT that earlier on and it said, uh, Gran Turismo 7 does not have that capability. Bloody ChatGBT always gives you, like, very specific answers, but yet they're wrong. <coughs> It literally went through a whole explanation of how GT7 can't do that. And then I did it there. I put it into two dimensional mode and then put it back into free virtual reality mode and it worked. Anyhow, what was I doing? I like the VR show when I haven't seen it yet, but I like it. It's cool looking from what I've seen on YouTube. However, I still think it's a bit stupid. I think it's a bit like a annoying that you can't do that unless you've got the virtual unless you've got the VR headset it's kind of weird that you can't do it without the VR headset it feels like Sony or whoever make this game are trying to push people into buying the headset like they won't give them that option you should be able to have a VR you should be able to have a showroom without having a VR headset most game most car racing games have that you can go into the paint mode you can go into the... Oh my God, I'll, I'll leave the guards a second. You can go into like here or something. Uh, mm, where is it? It's like... I did it yesterday. It's like this or something. Uh, why is it not doing anything? I mean, okay, at least you can do that in the game, but it, you can't change your cars quickly. You have to go in and out of this menu. Why don't they have this function in the actual garage? They do in VR mode, which I'm glad I've got a VR headset. I'm very grateful for that. But just as a general complaint here, it's just it feels like they're forcing people to buy the VR headset. Like, they're limiting the game's capabilities just to get people to buy a VR headset. This feels a bit unfair. Uh, but you can do it, as I, as you can see here, I'm doing it in the paint, in the thingy mode. Anyway, let's have a look at this VR showroom. Have I ever done this before in any other games? Yeah, sort of. I think I've played GTA 4. Five in VR, haven't I? Like years ago, I had the software to convert it to VR mode. So I have experienced cars in VR before, but it wasn't very good VR. It was the, the angles didn't look right. Apart from GTA Five, I don't think I've ever experienced. What am I talking about? Dirt, dirt rally. But did I get? To, was there a showroom in Dirt Rally? Something about this feels familiar, like I've already done this before. I can't remember if I've already done this before. I pro maybe I did do the same thing in Dirt Rally. I can't even remember. Anyhow, let's just do it. Just re putting the headset against my face properly. Anywhere will do. Ah, the cafe's a nice place. Change viewpoint, change viewpoint. Directional buttons. Home lights off. Double headlights. Turn 
change lighting, change to interior, change viewpoint. Okay. So I just took the headset off to look at the time. Let's put it on. Oh, that's great. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that is really the best VR I've ever experienced. Apart, the only thing that's bad about this is the graphics themselves. Like a tree just disappeared and then it appeared again. But apart from that, and okay, the, the graphics is a wee bit. Like, look, I'm not going to complain. Yes, yeah, so if I'm going to get nitpicky, the grass doesn't look completely real. But it looks a bit real over there. Anyway, that looks great. This is definitely the best VR I've ever experienced. I might want, I think I might buy that Resident Evil game. I played Resident Evil on the PSVR 1 and I thought it was pretty cool. But I couldn't, I couldn't be bothered to get through it. I might actually have to play that one first. I have to downgrade to the PSVR 1. It's sitting right beside me here. I think I can use the PS4, you know, it's the PSVR 1 is connected as well as the PSVR 2, they're both connected, so... Uh, I'm, I, I'm looking at these graphics, like that was the one thing I didn't like about Resident Evil 1, or really any PS4, PSVR 1 game was, it looked grainy or something, or... This doesn't have that annoying... Yeah, it's a wee tiny bit grainy, but... It's not too... It's much more... It's less to... I mean, it, first of all, I'm comparing it with Resident Evil 1. This is... It could be the game itself, like the graphics of the game. But I think it's more to do with the headset. This looks more... Uh, it's not perfect. I mean, I'm still looking forward to the future future, but we're getting ever closer. This is like the best I've seen so far. It's going so slow. Why is it so slow? Oh, I think I... Is there no way to speed the camera? I'm, I'm going to be complaining here in a second if it's this slow. What? I guess you're supposed to walk around it or something. But my, I'm in my bedroom. It's tiny. I, can't, I don't have enough space to walk around. Uh, plus... I've set the... What happens if I walk out set the boundary? Uh... Run like loads of junk, like food across my went machine. I'll have to pick all that up at some point. Uh... What's happening over here? I don't know what I'm looking at right now. Oh shit. Oh. <coughs> Let's see if I go over here. Oh, back in this again. Uh, uh, so, I'm a little bit peeved off at that. I, I can't go faster than this. I wanted to just swing around the car like I was doing a minute ago in the upper. What's the buttons? I really need to learn the buttons. Uh, oh, that's pan. I mean... Yeah, it's pretty cool, but it's a pretty shit car, but, well, I don't know if this is a shit car exactly, but, I mean, the guy in the cafe there was saying how brilliant it is. It's a Nissan something, Sylvia, does it say? Yeah, it looks alright. It's not as cool as my Ferrari, but, oh, I love this game. I can't wait till I collect all the cars. Uh... There's some cool cars in this game, like, there's some amazing ones. I could buy them right right now, but I don't want to spoil it for myself. If I buy the best car, I won't be able to enjoy the other ones. Yeah, this is, I'm not saying this is bad, but I, Sony, if you're listening, uh, speed up the ability to trans... Unless I'm missing a button or something. Unless there's a button that you can press to make this go faster, but I didn't see it in the menu. It's very slow. I mean, I can do that. So, I mean... I can do that, so that's not too bad. I can switch viewpoints points like that. I could go in here. Oh, nice. It's not the nicest interior, but it's still nice graphically and... 
yeah, I feel like I could touch that lever and that plastic bit. I feel like I can smell the the rubber or whatever of that steering wheel. That is nice. This is definitely I'm annoyed by that green, that red bar boundary thing keeps appearing. Perfectly. I feel like I'm within my boundary area. I don't know why it's doing that so often. It's not doing it now though. Oh there it is again. It could be the boundary. Maybe it's my bound the boundary behind me is doing this. I'll have to figure that out later. Uh, yeah, this is cool. I should I should get like a whole capture card setup thing so I can record my face while I'm doing this. I was watching somebody else the other day doing the same thing as I'm doing, but I'm pretty sure you could see his face at the same time, could you? Uh, so this is sweet. Let me see about angles and stuff. No, I can. Oh, I can change stuff. I can change the lighting. I just remembered. Oh, oh, that I could literally just smoke a joint or something. Not that I smoke weed, but I mean, I, I have, I can't really smoke it to be honest. But you get my point, though. It's the type of experience I could, in theory, sit back and smoke weed, and. In this lovely sun bathed look at the way the sun's hitting the hitting off the hitting off the dashboard is that what that's called i'm on a lot i'm on a good few painkillers right now so i'm a little bit dumb uh so in fact forget weed uh the fact that i'm already on painkillers is a sufficient enough uh uh the point is it's awesome you could really sit back and just chillax in that sun. It's much brighter. I guess it's a lot brighter than the PSVR 1 because I don't remember getting that feeling in the PSVR 1. There's a few graphical glitches here. But this is this is pretty nice. I could feel like I could just sit back in this car and chillax. Uh, okay. I kind of want to look at a different car. Why don't I? Why don't I look at a different car? I mean, how long has this been recording? It's only been recording 26 minutes. Okay, let's look at a different car. It wasn't really the best car to show off, was it? I've got like one good car. Oh well, I've got, I've got a cool a couple. I've got a couple of good ones. Couple of good ones. Uh, I've got my Ferrari. This one's kind of interesting. Uh, Honda Civic. Mm. It makes old car. Yeah. I haven't really got anything special yet. Except for his Ferrari, I guess. This one's kind of neat looking. Oh, I've got this. Actually, I'll have a look at this because... Uh, I, I don't know what it is about this car, but I like it. It looks cool. I mean, it's not what I assumed I would like in a car, but there's something about this car that just... And you get loads of... Oh, you don't get loads of... Oh, I thought you... I was about to say, oh, you get loads. The guy in the video, I thought, showed more than that. I'm going to go back to the cafe again. And uh, is there any way to speed this up? No, I don't see a speed up button. If I could get an extender cable or something to bring this, I keep my PlayStation 5 in the bedroom. If I could, I, I run everything from the bedroom into the living room instead of everything from the living room into the bedroom. Uh, I guess that's because for years I had panic attacks, so the bedroom was like my main area. And so I rerouted everything. So I've got the same TV, the same computer set up. It's all runs from the bedroom to the living room on multiple screens. It's pretty cool actually. So when I'm in the bedroom I can look at my laptop and play my computer games at the same time. When I'm in the living room I can do the exact same thing because I've got two TVs in there. Uh, it's pretty cool but it means that I keep the PlayStation in the bedroom which means I can't stretch the lead of the VR headset 
into the wider space of the living room. Which is a bit... And I really don't want to have to go through the trouble of reorganizing my setup. So I was thinking of getting extender cables. But then I asked GPT, ChatGPT, would that create latency? And assuming GPT, ChatGPT is giving me the correct answer, it said it would create latency. Depending. I was thinking of getting load. You can't buy these extender cables in a big long one, so I was going to get like little short ones and connect them all up together. Uh. That way I could, uh, it might work. It cost about 30 or 40 quid, 30 to 50 quid. If it doesn't work, I guess I could return all the wire, all the cables back to Amazon or something. Uh, okay, why am I, oh, I, what am I doing? Anyway, look at the actual car, me. I'm not really looking at it, am I? That's pretty nice. There is something pretty cool about that car. Like, if I had... I don't know. I wouldn't buy... I probably wouldn't buy this car as a... real car, to be honest. But, at the same time, though, if I had to buy a small car, like, it had to be a small one, I think I'd buy this. Maybe more than... some other small car, I don't really know much of a car, <laughs> a Mini or something, I mean, I don't know, a part of it looks a bit cheap, a bit older, old style, a boxy roof or something, but it also looks well put together, and there is curves on it, there's curvy bits, I, I don't know what this, that's called in car terms, but let's change, let's go inside it, the inside feels a bit it kind of feels, oh, I don't know how to explain this car. It feels like you're in the past, but also the future. I, I don't know, this car's a weird, got a really weird design. It feels like I'm in a cheapy crap car from the 80s, but it also feels like a futuristic. I definitely like the, I like the, God, I don't know anything about cars. I like the, is that dashboard? Is that called a dashboard? I like the, you know, that thing I'm looking at right now. Do I need to change the, the, the eye thing in this to, so I can see that better? Like, oh, there it is. I could just open my eyes more. <laughs> uh, so, oh, that's a lovely red. Oh, that's a really beautiful red. The OLED screens. Pretty sure the PSVR1 had an OLED screen too. But the PS4 one made scenes like this look more ghostly. There was something that, that looked weird about them. I don't know if that was the PS4's graphical par or was that the headset. But there's, some, but this looks more believable. I don't know what I mean by ghostly. I don't know how to explain it, and I can't even remember it that well. So anyway, I like this dashboard. It, it looks interesting. Interesting. There's something cold about this car, even though it's red at the bottom there. Maybe it's just a blue color. It's some, something about it feels very cold. Anyway, let's change the lighting. It depends on what what time of day it is. Makes it feel warmer. It's still not about like I like this car. I don't know, if, had, if I could buy it in real life, I don't know. Parts of it feel like rubbish. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look at that. I remember the button. Oh, that's... Oh, that's nice. I could chill... Oh, I could chill out at night now and just press this all day. I could seriously do that. I could just sit here and press this button. Oh, that is nice. That is so fucking cool. That red circle thing is really starting to piss me off. How do I get rid of that? Oh, do you know what that could be? That could be my duvet. Maybe. I'm sitting on a bed here. Half, half on a bed. Anyway, uh... What am 
I turning up? What's the bottom button doing? It? How do I turn off the light? Oh, what's that do? Oh. Ah, uh, come on, I wrote the button there. Uh. No, it just jumped straight back today. That wasn't really night time, though. Oh, back today again. Okay, well, let's count. That was one, that, this is two. This is three. So one, two, three, night time. So it's not really night time. That's unfortunate, I was hoping it would be a bit darker. And that cafe looks like I could go in and eat something. Uh, let me see. Let, let's go to a different. Let's look at my Ferrari. Uh, okay. Change cut. Where am I? And then I'm going to call it a day here because I'm tired. I'll play it tomorrow. Or maybe later. I don't know. Uh huh. What am I doing? Pen colors, I meant pen colors. <coughs> I'm so dumb right now. Uh, I'm trying to change the car, am I? I just, literally just forgot what I was doing. Uh, oh, right, yeah. Ferrari, remember now. Uh, okay. And I'll pick somewhere else, like here. What was those things again? Toggle headlights. All lights off. Turn signal. Okay, that's all there is. Oh, that's a nice car. Oh, I wish I had this in real life. This this scenario is a bit bland looking. It's nice, but it doesn't. It looks a bit fake or something. It's too clean or something. Anyway, that car looks great. I didn't even realize how cool a car that was until I saw it in VR right now. Until I'm seeing it right now in VR. Like, I knew it looked good, but Jesus, that looks great. That's a great car. I don't know how I didn't notice it. I thought it was an alright looking Ferrari, but it's absolutely brilliant looking. Oh, I hope that makes the the other cars look even better. Oh, look at the back of it. Oh, this was so worth the money. Just so I can look at the back of this car. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I love cars. I'm not really that into them. Like, I don't know much about them, but I still love them. Their cars are just great. Like, look at that. Look at the back of that. That is like the best thing I've ever seen. Oh, that is so cool. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so cool. It makes me want to actually go out and get alive and get a real one. But then I wouldn't be able to see the back of it when I'm driving it anyway, would I? <laughs> but I could see the front. Oh yeah. Oh, this has got a nice enough interior. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have a TV display. Which you would think... It might have. I don't know what the year model of this or anything, but I love that steering wheel. That looks great. And, uh... Uh, it's kind of ironic that I want a TV display in a car, which I'm basically got a TV strapped to my head. <laughs> anyway, uh, but you know what I mean. It, it feels like real life, so you kind of want to have a wee TV display on it. I could always put an iPad there. Uh, what's that bit? What's that bit do? Is that where the, is that like a, is that where the, hmm, is that where a radio is supposed to go? It doesn't really look like a radio. Still, this is so cool. Everyone should get a PlayStation 5 and a 
PSBR and a copy of Gran Turismo 7. This is so cool. Uh, it will, I wonder when it will start to wear off the novelty. It might never wear off as I keep collecting more cars, but if I. Each car will be like, whoa, this is cool. But eventually I have all, I'll have all the good cars and then maybe it will, the novelty will wear off or something, I don't know. But so far this is... This is pretty cool. I, I mean, I always say this when I get, when I experience VR. I've said, I said this like set 10 years ago. I was like, this is so cool. And then over the years it started to look stupider. I know stupider isn't actually a word, but it started to look shit. So at some point will this look shit? At some point will the back of this car not, and you know, not the back of the car per se, but the graphics or something, will it start to look crap? In 10 years time will I look back at this and go, oh my god, that was so stupid. That's not even cool. You can barely even see it. I can't see it with all the pixels. <laughs> I can make out the carbon fiber and the Oh, and they've really made a lot of detail to this. Like the lights themselves have those. I don't have enough vocabulary. Uh, the lights have whatever the wee crisscrossy thing. <laughs> it's it's very believable looking. Like I've looked at real cars in the real world and looked at the lights and went, oh, that's cool. Oh, that's one sexy beast. Oh, I cannot wait till I collect more cars. Oh, and I can go down and look at the... The... Whatever that's called. The grill or something? No. I don't know what that's called. Oh, that's cool too. Oh, it's great from down here. Oh, that's a piece of artwork. It reminds me of a fireplace or something from down here. It feels like something you could put, like a mantelpiece, and the fire would be beneath it, and that would be the top of the mantelpiece or something. Or the end of a bed. No. No, that's, that's stupid. <laughs> I'm being stupid. Oh, whoa, this is... Oh, look at... You can almost feel the rubber off those tires. The graphics in this game are great. I mean, sometimes the graphics suck in certain spots. But, but I can actually, that tire, I feel like I can smell the rubber. I feel like I could touch that. Oh, that's, that is cool. The headset's starting to hurt my nose a bit. I might have to buy that thing to make it a bit easier in your head or something. I think it's, it's not too bad in my head though. Put this, I've been wearing this thing now for 45 minutes or something. Anyway, I think I'll call it a day. How high, how high can I go? Oh, I haven't even looked at the engine. Jesus. Sorry. God, I'm not supposed to take Jesus' name in vain, pardon me. If, just in case Jesus is real, uh, I am very sorry about that. Okay, so... Uh, That is so cool. Oh, it's pretty can it's pretty can you know, look into it. It's real to a certain point, and then it's like, no, it's not even there. It's not even real. It has no physicality. It's the matrix. Uh still that is a sexy engine. Or pair of bionic legs. That I'm holding for somebody. Uh, okay, I think I'll, I think I'll just call it quits. My first experience of VR. I think I was muted for the first 15 minutes racing that, so you didn't hear me. But it doesn't really matter. Oh, I can go through the car. I didn't realize I could do that. Only over the bonnet, obviously. It's 
Real pity you can't actually go into the interior. The interior is like a... Well, I don't know how computer games work, but it seems to obey a different set of physics or something. Maybe it's a completely different scene. You know, when you jump into the interior, it's just a completely different scene or something. I don't know how that... I don't know how games physics works. Oh, nice front lights as well. It's amazing I'm only noticing that now. What else have I not looked at? I guess I haven't looked at the front. I haven't looked at this bit. Oh, that's sexy. This whole thing's sexy, and there's even sexier cars than this. Like, way sexier than this. At least in two... At least on the flat screen they look sexier, so I imagine they're going to pop out on the three dimensions. Virtual reality. Yeah, this car's brilliant. This virtual reality mode is brilliant. It's stupid they can't do this without VR. Except unless you're in the paint editor mode thing. But, uh... Wow, that's just great. Let's go into the paint editor mode a second. No, I've done something wrong. No, I've done right. Doesn't look as good. Is that because the paint's different, or is it? Is, the, is it just me or it doesn't look the same? Is it the paint job that's making it look different? Oh, it's because it's in 2D! Oh, I'm being stupid. I'm being so stupid there. It's like that's why it's different uh, because it's not in virtual reality anymore. I am not with it right like tonight. <laughs> so I've taken pinkles because I've got a sore back. And. Um, like, I didn't even notice I wasn't in VR anymore. It's like, well, then it goes to show you that the VR really does make a difference then. Because that looks shit. I'm looking at it basically in two screens. Two, I could take off the headset for a second and just look at it on my TV. And yeah, that looks shit compared to, the, to what I was just looking at a second ago in VR mode. Well, it doesn't look shit. It still looks pretty good, but it's, you know what I mean. That is a. Huh, that's interesting. Anyway, oh, I better get going. I, I'm gonna. I'm trying to watch. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, Deadpool. I'm trying to. I want to watch the third one, so I'm rewatching one, one and two. Just finished one, so about to start two. So I'll come back to this game later. I was going to check out the cinemas display. I also bought this VR headset so I could play two-dimensional games like Spider-Man in flat screen mode. Simply because it's a, such a big screen, it's the closest you can kind of get to VR. I've done it on the PSVR 1, PSVR 1 and it actually does make Spider-Man a lot more fun. It makes you feel like you really are flying through the streets. So with the extra resolution bump, on the PSVR 2, hopefully that experience will be even better. Okay, that's me over and out. 47 minutes, 47 seconds.